Today I'm going to show you how to work with Sony XD Cam footage in Final Cut Pro 10. So uh, there's a plug out, out as of this taping. It's Mac OS version 1.1.0. There's some release notes here. You're going to download that, okay? And the link is, will be here in the video description, this link to download it. Once you download and install it, you're going to uh, have it on your computer, of course. And then you're going to open up Final Cut Pro. Now, I have some XD Cam footage here already on this G drive. It's called BPAV. And you see it has XML. It has that. Now, usually, I would have to use the third-party plugin, uh, the Sony XD Cam, what I have here, and uh, the transfer. Um, but what I really uh, like right now, the Final Cut Pro, it does it automatically. Now, Here's one trick that I've seen. A lot of people are going to run into this issue is that when you take this software, now I copied, instead I'm not using Firewire, remember I'm just taking the BPAV and I'm dragging it on this drive, okay? Or on your desktop. But when you drag it on a drive, let me show you what happens. Because at first I was a little freaked out when this happened to me. Now, I have two drives connected. You see a G drive and an SSG, all right? Now, you see the G drive, and then it's going to disappear. Watch what happens. Bam. So it disappears. You're like, what in the world? And if you have all your events, you're like, wait a second. I don't even see the G drive in my list here. This is because the XD cam footage takes over the uh, drive. So my advice to you would either to put this file on the desktop, this BPAV, on the desktop, instead of on a drive if you want to see your footage. So this is what I, I can do when I go right here. I go file. I go import. I'm going to import it right here um, to this SSG drive and watch what happens as soon as this finishes going through all the events and things that I have here. Okay, so we're going to go file. We're going to go import media. And then when I import media, it sees a G drive. But look, automatically it pulls up the XD cam footage that I have right on there. And then I can actually eject it from there. So let's do this. If I want to delete, let's quit Final Cut Pro 10, and let's delete this BPAV. Let's just move it to the trash. Now, let's open up this now, Final Cut Pro 10. And let's see if we see both drives. have a lot of events here. And there they go. The drive is noticed. So remember, the XD cam footage overtakes your drive. So the best approach that you want to do is most likely put it on your desktop. All right? If I restore it, I'm not going to restore it now. But if I were to restore this, um, it would go back to, to that. Uh, let's cancel out of here, out of Final Cut Pro. And let's just hit put back. And it puts it back right back in the G drive. And it's going to do the same thing. And then I can just go file import. But uh, that is a quick Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Remember, you have to have Final Cut Pro 10.0.6 or higher. And as you see, it's going to disappear one more time. And there it goes. It disappears. Because all I'm going to do is click there. And then I'm going to go import media. And then it's going to show my XD cam. And then I'm going to just import this media right into the selected and where I want it to go. All right. If you have any questions, you can always email us at ask at webvideochefs.com or follow us on Twitter, webvideochefs. And uh, any questions, just email us. So I'm liking the XD Cam plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. Take care.